This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Right back here at good old Backman Field and our Monday game of the week matchup here. Officer Spalding still undefeated in MIA conference play against Gilman was joining us in progress. Jake Jaeger got to see the shot out last week at Carolyn. He's got a man on first to walk. Well, already a strike out here in the game. Here in this one as Gilman had a good series last week against Mount St. Joe's. That's a swing and a miss there. Count or what? For the video. Oh. 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 And the pitch from Jaeger. Swing and a miss there, and a count one and two. Tap foul, as he counts to be one and one. One on, one out. Count one and one. Maybe one and two now. These two will meet in Rolling Avenue on Wednesday. They'll come back here Friday. Weather permitting, of course, for those two days. One and two, you count here, Jaeger again. Shoots it over the short, and they get the out of first, and the runner will advance the third with two away. What about that here now, Jake Moore? Junior here, infielder, and we're interested to see here. Jaeger's trying to continue. Let's go, big Jake. Give it a ride. Give it a ride. What's it say? Is hey, Muller. Hey, Jake. That shoot foul to the right. We count on one. Jake on Jake here in this one, and we'll see which Jake prevails here. Cover Hall swept last week against their off rivals lawyer. They was undefeated in conference play, and that ended with the Dons sweeping Calvin Hall and winning two of the three games at Calvin Hall. That's strike two in there, and the count on two now. Runner in scoring position. A beautiful afternoon. It feels like mid June outside and not mid April. Right here, Moore. Perfect baseball weather indeed. Pitch here. That crosses the outside part of the plate. One and two. Here we go, Jake. And the pitch here. Here we go now, Jake. Go more. That one again cuts the outside part and count two and two. Jaeger last week at Curly struck out ten and a shutout performance against the Friars. Again, you seen here on DSN last week. That was a very good game. Boom! Struck him out looking. Two strikeouts so far for Yeager at the bottom of the first scoreless game here at Auspicious Spalding. All right here, bottom of the first. Brendan Martin up the bat here. 
against the starting pitcher here for the Greyhounds. That was a foul there. Ben Coleman on our list here. As you know, it's Dylan broke. Oh, two. We have two uh, sevens, and look like Dylan or holds us the one pitch in here in this one. They both pitches, by the way. Funny enough. Count or one here. Shoots it, and the ball skates at first. Can he get him in time? He will not be able to. That's a safe. So uh, that will register a hit there for Spalding. Runner on for Spalding. One and on nobody out here. High in the zone. As Cruz Luna up the bat here, the hero the other day against Curly. And now trying to make a dividend here in this one against the Greyhounds. Runner back to first, the runner gets back in time. Again, mid 80s, low humidity this time of year, you can't get it no better. For baseball here. And all of the pitch. That's high there, 2 0. We got to see Jaeger last week at Curly, and one thing about him, three runs, so almost curtains the way he's been pitching here as of late. He had a full week's rest. That one, here we go, the count 2 0, 2 1, as that one curves into the strike zone. Turn one, you count. High in the zone, three and one. And afraid to walk here. Second batter up here. Let's go, Cruz! Again, the Greyhounds and Spawn will meet on Rolling Avenue on Wednesday. Nice pitch. Ball four. So two on, nobody out here in the first inning. Two on, and nobody out here for the Cavaliers here. And all just in the jam early. They were looking for the butt. Runner gets back in time to second. So the runner gets back in time. And ball one here. Awesome. So last week, Curley was able to keep some pace. They didn't get down early, only a run. That was enough. Fun again, ball two. Runner gets back in time. Two and all you count here. Time here for us. Uh, for Gilman. Very sheets. We're gonna talk about it here. Lonzo. The lawyer Blakefield moves in the second place in MIA conference play. Behind and then Cal Hall's behind them. John Kell and then Gilman. With uh, Curly and Mount St. Joe's bringing up the rear. Which Curly this week is a team that's uh, not on a bye, but in a sense of not playing. They will play Catonsville here on Tuesday. <laughs> Curly will. 2 0 here, a good, reasonable timeout, as they say here, to try to get things together. Ball got away there, the bunt attempt will cause a strike one. Backman field here once again here at all Spalding. Spalding. Two weeks we see the Spalding and uh, Calvin Hall and a good one in Towson. Should be a fun one there between those two. This week we be, might be heading back to Curly Loy. We'll see how things go. But perfectly on the third base side. They will get the runner at first, and the runners will advance perfectly there off the bat. Two runners in scoring position went out. No help. 
we're about here to game action now. The wolf hitter up the bat here, the old Logan. Trying to give Spalding the lead here. And the pitch. That's a shot! Had it in the glove, it came out! Brother at home, he got him out! What a play at home! Pitcher had fouled, and two away now, we're still scoreless here in Severn. Back here to game action now, and here two outs. Two runners on again, but the good news is for Gilman, the runner was stopped at, at home plate. Yes, we have Drew Embrick up the bat here. That's low, ball one. Ball one here. Gilman again trying to get out this inning unscathed. That's in there for a ball 2-0. Made that play at home great. The uh, the pitcher fell there, and one of the infielders able to get it back home. That's a shot. What a catch at first, and he gets it in time. And in it. Way to go, Jay. Who's there after one? Gilman averts danger there in a scoreless game. Here it is in my eight conference matchup. Time of the second inning, a scoreless game here in Severin, and no doubt about it here, Jake Yeager has been the man. 12 strikeouts in his last two starts, and he's continuing a great run here for the Spalding here, undefeated. MIAA Conference play. Gilman's trying to do something no team has done yet. A Conference, and that's get a W. That's in there for a strike. That's Wyatt Randolph there. And the pitch. Low there, one and one. The control was outstanding last week in Baltimore City. I think he's a little more human, but my goodness. The speed is the velocity is the big thing here. The high school side, it's hard to hit. That's a pop up there. And this one, I think, will be out of play. And it will be. Yep, out of play. <laughs> One of one and two, you count. Did you say why? Come on now. Then the that Toby Wolf band. So with the hitter coming up the bat here in the top of the second, and the pitch. Boom! Third strikeout here for you. So one away here in the top of the second inning. We got to see some runs last time. We said, what a bunt laid down right on the third base side. Will they get the runner in time? Yes, they will. Two away. Two outs here in the top of the second. And here. So Dylan. So now about Ben Coleman in the game now. He says top one you got two people with the same number. It always gets you a little bit. That's high in his own one and zero. <laughs> That's a swing and a miss, one and one. Gilman, no hits. One walk so far for Jaeger in the game. 
Hot skip of the air. Two and one. Two and one. Shot in the infield, long throw, cut, and the inning over there. Bottom of the second we go, and Spalding be up to hit, scoreless game here at I-97. All right, we're in the bottom of the second inning here, and Gilman back up, averted danger in the bottom of the first, and that's in for a strike. Nally. Third Spalding game of the season here. And that's in there. Count should be 2-0. Oh. Two and oh, your count. And the pitch. That's in there for a strike to one and two, excuse me. One and two. Nice chop foul. Count still at one and two. And the pitch. That skips away to count two and two. Two and two you count here. <laughs> Here in the bottom of the second. That shoots on the third base. That skips into the outfield. And it's going to be a base hit. Let's see. Nope. They call it an error. Right here. So, yep. Yeah, as we thought, two hits here. We did call that. A hit, we thought we were going to keep it an error at first. Even what? Pretty huge here, again for Gilman, in a jam here. Runner on first, nobody out. In the bottom of the second, that's going with this game here so far. Shoots that one foul, let's hope somebody car don't. Oh, that was close, that was real close. <laughs> About tempting fate there. And the count on one here. One on. That's a shot. What a catch! And it could get the DP. And do! What a double play! Sports in the top ten type of play there. Carson married up. And there for a strike. Hey, a red double play turned there. One more, Jackson. That was huge to get Gilman out of that one. One on one, you count. She was going on throughout. So, all the two games going on. I really want them to go at Maloria today. And the pitch, that's outside, two and one. That's in there, three and one. That's a shot. Yeah. And it's caught and it ends the inning. So we end up being a one, two, three, and after two, we're scoreless here in all touch of Spalding. All right, top of the third inning here in a scoreless ball game. Our other games today, not via the streaming platform, so I think it's kind of. Well, and we get some updates hopefully before we're out of here. Here from Severin. That's a swing and a miss. Uh, now we're looking backside now. Now we're looking backside, right? 
Oh, oh, and one here, right? Anytime. They can hear what. Three strikeouts already in a game. It's 13 in the last two games. Last two Monday. And the pitch. Woo! Some faded heat right there as that one creeps into the strike zone. Quickly on two. Rash in the pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. And a count one and two. Here you go. Four strikeouts now for Jaeger. 14 in his last two games. Come on, Jack. Jackson Chino up to bat here. Trying to get Gilman their first hit of the contest. In his first of three, these two will meet again here Friday. They meet Roland and Northern Parkway on Wednesday. Up in the zone. Take five. One and oh. And the pitch. Right one. One on one. And the pitch here. Check foul. Count one and two. Here looking for his fifth punch out of the game and so far. Cheatham trying to say, nah, uh. Give me a hit in. That's low ball two, two and two. Pitch here. Count four now, three and two. Full count. And the payoff. Here you go. Make that five strikeouts now, punch outs here. And this one. 15 in the past two games here. Yeah. Lisa Gager had a complete game shutout last week at Curling. And the pitch here. That's an airflow strike. Duke Taylor. And the pitch. That skips away, one and one. Hey, two. Hey, you win a juice. And the pitch here. High in the zone, two and one. I want to do right here. One and one. that circle, Caleb Lawson. Two and one, you count here. Yeager with the pitch. Strike. I'm going to miss. Looking at it, innings over in the bottom of the third. We're still in a scoreless game in supper. All right, folks, bottom of the inning here. It's a pitching duel. That's a low pitch, one up. Thank you. 
That's a foul by foul. I count one and two. And the pitch. That's a shot in the outfield. That's going to go back, though, deep part of the center and one away. One out here in the bottom of the third. <laughs> Bunnet foul on one. Hot foul right near us. And look out. Foul right there. <laughs> Quickly on two here. Come on. That's a pop up foul to the left. Sit down on two. Spawning with two hits in the game. Only one base runner so far for Gilman. That was off a walk from Jaeger in the first inning. And the pitch. A shot up in the air. That's a pop up. It's coming down in a hurry. Able to get it in the left field side, two away. Two away here. Luna up the bat here. And there for a strike. Four one. And the pitch. That's low one and one. Three pitch one right here, anything you want, seven. Over up on the right side. Whoa, that was up in his own there, two and one. That's a shot in the outfield. That's a base hit right up the middle. So Spalding for a third straight inning has a hit and a base runner. And they have one on here with two outs. Remember, in the first inning was the best chance for Spalding. They had two on one, and the runner got thrown out at home. How big is that now in hindsight? As you hear in the bottom of the third inning. Brendan Ensko up the bat here. Let's see if he can get the first runner in as it was a double there for Cruz. Ball escapes. Cruz able to stay on first. Cruz Luna. Green, 455. That's a ball, 2 and 0. Right now for Dylan Vogt. Post call said he's hung in this all game, but he has had some tests here. Let's see what the test gives now. Can he pass it here in the bottom of the third? That's in there for a ball, 3 and 0. Red 133. And the pitch. Strike two. Strike one, excuse me. Strike one. Three one. Red 197. And the pitch. 
Ball four. So we got two base runners on here with two away. Morgan back up the bat here for his second time in the game. And they want to bust loose. It's Spalding. Two on, two out. First pitch. That is a strike. That is a strike. Black one ninety nine. And the pitch. Yeah. Two and a, one and one. Excuse me. One and one. Let's go, Lady. Five forty four. Two out here in the bottom of the third. Oh, that was way there. With a hit or two and one now. Red, 845. Let's go, Lenny. I would be fighting. Shoot foul to the right, two and two. You count two on, two out. Two and two here in the bottom of the third. Gold, 444. Logging here, trying to continue the inning for Spalding. Gilman trying to get out the inning scoreless. That's ball three to count four now. That's drama here. And Spalding. Is that JV lacrosse going on? JV throws across as well on the other smaller field there. Shoots foul as the runners are trying to advance. They're going to send the runners again here. Trying to make sure both runners stay on base. That's just shot to left in the outfield. Ball going back, able to be caught, and it is. And that ends the inning. Gilman again escapes. Spalding has left. At least two runners on the first two of the three innings, and after three, we got to score this game. All right, top of the fourth inning here, and this one is scoreless game, man. Seven and Gilman let's go, let's go, has averted out. danger throughout this game on defense. But offensively, we only have one base runner in the whole game to walk. As Jaeger right now has struck out six in this one. Ooh, that was close there. And ball one. So Caleb Lawson. 16 strikeouts in the pass. Eleven innings here for Jaeger. Strike one. One of them. 
clutch in the zone here and see what Jaeger does here. That's an ever strike two. Like to hit. Velocity and storms to the south. I think we should be able to be fine here in Severn from that happening. That's a shot. Caught one away. That's about the best we've seen anybody hit the ball on Jaeger in the past two games. And that guy gets the job done there. Lucas up the bat here. That's a chopper right back to Jaeger at the mound and oh, there it gets away. So Gilman will get their second base runner of the game. And I think that'll be an E on the pitcher. That'll be the first error of the game. Yep. So it's only the second base runner of the game here for the Greyhounds and must, I do mean must, try to get him home here. Yo, got to put pressure on him, Moore. Come on, let me know. Runner goes, and he will go easily to second. Again, as we mentioned, the way Jaeger's pitching, when you get a base runner on, you got to get him in. Any means necessary to get him in here. And a runner in scoring position here for Gilman trying to strike first in this one. Hey, we're sitting up, be sitting up, Jake, be tough, baby, feel time. And the pitch. Strike two. Strike one, excuse me. Strike one. One and one. Gilman with two base runners in the game, one on a walk, one on the arrow. You see the arrow one here at second now, trying to get home and score first in this one. And the pitch. That's a chopper right back to the pitcher. He's going to go to first. Gets out. So two away here, and the runner do advance to third. So well, it's all up here to Ryan Ryder, Randolph here, the senior. As you talk about a showdown, you would say here. Big part of the game right now here for Gilbert. Oh, the pitch. Ball one. Ball one here. And that bit of a beautiful afternoon. And the pitch. Two and zero. Two and zero. You count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the pitch here. Mike one, the ball got away. Jaeger was going to field at home. And the count two on one now. Go nine! Go nine! And the pitch. That's a shot right to first. That should end the inning. It will. Runner left for Gilman and four, three and a half done here in Sovereign. And the DMV Swingle story continues on a scoreless game here. All right, here in the bottom of the fourth inning. A scoreless game here. Gilman got only the second base runner in the game. Spalding has left five on in this one. And 
Pops here to Dylan Berhalter holding his own. That's a chopper on the third base side. That's a foul ball, one and one. And the last week's starter for Curley, able to hold his own. Wilson gave up a run in the top of the first. And a three nothing win. Spalding went on to sweep that week. That's in there for a ball and the count one and two and one. So one you count here. And the pitch. That's chopped foul to count two and two now inside of the spawning dugout at third base. Ooh. Count four. That was close to being uh, strike three. That's a shot. Fair. Base hit. And Spalding again as the double looked like it will be a reality. It will be a double. Spalding gets another base runner on here to start the fourth. Fourth hit of the game. Yeah. Is the young So Buckholter has been Houdini the first three innings. So I have to do it once again here to keep this a scoreless ball game. And looking back to make sure the runner stays on second. Pitch low there. One and out. That's in there low, two and out. Black one ninety four. That's high in the zone, three and oh. Black one eighty eight. Striker. Just in there for a strike. Okay, that's 599. Go, stick to it. Come on, Up and Might get a cookie here. Oh, he was looking. Count full, three and two. Count full. Green, 455. That's a shot there. That might be foul. It will be out of play. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. That's just shot in the outfield, that's a base hit. That might get the run in. No, they're gonna hold him at third. So the runners on the corners, nobody out of here. And about him out of four. So here, five hits for Spalding here, the third inning of four. We got time here, I think. Uh, the coach, manager, the Sheets gonna kinda get things to cover, yep. Dylan. Buck Halter. Day is over. 
They're coming in to try to start this jam here. Okay, the other side. Got you. I mean, appreciate you because you probably see me looking like this. <laughs> DJ, one of the parents there helping us out there. Ben Coleman coming in now. We're in 11. Oh, Actually, Sheets went with the pitching change here and. Dylan Bell Hall, the guy, give him credit. He was able to get it done. But it is two runs. That's on base, two runners right now. And if that transpires, he will. He counted for the runs here on the corner. But impressed so far. Top. Nobody out here in the bottom of the fourth here. Two on. Nobody out. That is a ball. As Coleman. Up here against Alizar. Ball in trying to break first here in the bottom of the four. Nobody out. Two and oh. Go, Benny. Coleman keep this a scoreless game. I like said. The two runners on base will be accounted for the starter, Dylan. Go Halter. That's a shot. Yeah, Look out. Track. Go, Whoa, and it gets down. One run will score. And two possibly. They keep the runner at third. Runners on the corners. Spawning crack first up one. And the pitch here. That's a ball. Here for Carson Murray. Here we go, Ben. One run in so far. You want to limit the damage here. Not about it. And the pitch. That's a shot there. That curves. That should be caught. And the runner will tag from third. Going to try to get it home. They'll not be able to get there. They might get down at third, though. They do. Good play. They do get down at third, so there's change of run with the out. And they get two outs here, but it's a two nothing late. Nobody on base now, so the runner got thrown out at third. The question is here. And Spalding continue the inning. Have two runs in. They did in that last play trade two runs. He traded a run in for two outs, I meant to say. That's in there. On two. Coleman trying to get out the inning here. And only being stayed with two. The two runs would be on the starter. Foul there. Count still at 0 2. So, Benny. That shoots on the third base side. It'll be caught. Ends the inning. Spalding puts two up here at the four, and they're up two nothing here in this one. All right, top of the fifth inning here. Gilman down two, and the Greyhounds now. What they got to do to be back on the comeback trail in this one here? Hey, Toe. Hey, Toe. Hey, Ward. Hey, Ward. Ban here against Jaeger. He actually did not need to strike anybody out in the last inning. He did not. He still has 16 in the last two games. Six in this one today, 10 in the one last week against Carroll. Good. 
That's a hot skipper there, one and one. Again, trying to get an update from our other games with Tyler Hall, John Kell, and uh, St. Joe's lawyer. That's a chopper, face, hit! First hit of the game for Gelman here. He puts the no-hitter to bed. And the tying run now at the plate here for the Greyhounds. Let's go, Deep Ball. Gelman, you got it. I'm going to hold the trades as gloves for the bat now. Let's go, Seth. Uh, looking. Uh, back. Uh, Good job, Jack. Good job, Jack. Good Are you good? Next pitch, let's go. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Why not? Close strike two. Real close. And pitch. Strike two. One and two now. Two and two. Over the layoff. Go seven. Yeah, you're done. Got a boy, got a boy. Three and two now to count four. Man. Strike him out. Throw him out. Double play. It's a pinger right to the short. And ends the inning. Four and a half done here in Sovereign. Two nothing lead for Sport. Bottom of the fifth inning, a two nothing lead here for Sporting. Here back up. What a butt right front. Can the speed be enough? Got him out one away. And the pitch. That's in there for a ball, one and out. That's on the outside, and the count now two and out. Strike two, three and two to count now. Ball four. So Spalding once again gets a base runner here, at least every inning in the game so far. 
defense in the zone there, one and oh. One on one, you count. One on, one out. And was looking for the runner at first. Not quite. Wednesday well, look like might be the day. The rain might not be. The rain will be a factor. Two one, you count here. Yeah, that's just shot in the outfield. That's carrying. It will be right at the track and caught. The runner will have to retreat back to first and get there in time with two away. Talking it That's your shot. In the outfield, that's a base hit. Will the runner get to home? No, we will get the third and first with two outs, the runners on the corner. All right, two on, two outs here, and a pitching change from uh, Gilman. As Randolph comes in the game, seven hits, two runs here. Spalding and in there. Gilman, three base runners in the game. One hit. Now trying to stop spawning from really putting more runs on the board. One and all the count here. The runner gets back to first there. And the pitch here. And the fifth, they got get the runner there, and he almost got out there. That's a shot there, and it gets down, it does, base hit, and a run will come in three to nothing there for all Christmas Spalding now. 
Everybody hit a game action, two away, two on still. Falling with eight hits, up three to nothing. And the pitch, that's in for a ball, one and out. And the pitch. Strike one. One on one. That's a shot there. Foul on the count one and two. One and two, good count here. Chopper on the third base side, it gets in the outfield, that's another run. Four nothing lead, now it gets away. It might be five. Runner at second, and a double there, and the lead five to nothing. And then the ball gets away, the runner runs the third, and we'll get there easily. Um, that's in there too, no? So we get paid from YouTube. Current wants to come out of school or something like that. Okay, good. Good. We only got 3,000 3, subscribers. Okay. That's in there for a strike to him. Funny how the whole sports are concrete. I know you're saying like college. You are like communications in college. Nope. That's another one. That's a base hit in the left side. And this one's busted right over now. Six nothing. Six nothing now. That one's in there for a ball one and out. Joe Box, you know, Jack Box is there. Football Cops is a great commentator. Who's there? Ball Cops. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I like John Miller. John Miller's great. Right. Yeah, John Miller's great. Right. Yeah. John Miller, Fred Maffer, Joe Angel. You know, we did a lot of Orioles games for a long time. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I don't even know who's doing the game. Um, yeah, all the radio people retired, so they're gone, you know. So they interchange the TV and radio people. Okay. Kevin Brown does a good job. I like Melly Newman. Female wise, she's she one of the female does. She does a good job. Okay. Um, that's actually brought Scott Garceau back, funny enough. Yeah, I saw him like last year. I haven't seen him this year. Is he, is he still here this year? I mean, you know what? You're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because they don't even do MLB channels. No! I was mad about that. It's like everyone's stuck on. It's like the guest bedroom. I blame baseball for that. Yeah, on it. Come on. You can see it from like the white like towel. I told you don't even push that much. Gotcha. I'm going to get into that stuff. You know? Right, pitch and change here. We'll be right back here in the bottom of the set. All right, another pitching change here for uh, Gilman. That ball's high, one and zero here. Lost uh, band is in the game pretty much now. Might need to just use one arm to get out of this and get ready for Wednesday's matchup. Up and rolling Avenue. Two and zero. Runner at first. 
Spalding's up six to nothing. And the question is, will we get Jaeger for six more outs, perhaps? I think as long as it's a shutout, you gotta keep him in the game. Two and one you count here. Great thing is the sun sets, that's a pop foul. That won't hit any cars, I don't think. Great this time of year, less humidity. Two and two you count here. And the pitcher. That's just shot right back in the glove. That will end the inning. Spalding put up four more, and after five, they're up six to nothing here. Good job. Right here, the top of the sixth inning. Six nothing again. Team hits for Spalding. Strike one there. And uh, Jaeger has not struck no one out in the past two innings. And, and not needed that. And the only way he comes out this game is the shutout is a done deal. In the sense that he gives up a run. Swing and a miss. Cheatham trying his best here. And pitch. That's a shot in the third. Hop skipper. Let's see if he gets it over the first in time. Well, one away. Let's go, Duke. 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 Shot foul. Look out. I like that. Somebody almost had a souvenir running through that car. Looking here. And the pitch. Low there. One and one. Seven strike out of the game. And threw away. <laughs> Slow there, ball. for the shin there, make sure he's all right. There's a stinger there when that first happens. Lawson comes back up to Brandon's box. Still up. I'm not one, I'm not 
They're trying to get strikeout number eight here in this one. Speaking of that, strike two. One and two. And the pitch. That's a shot. That's a fair ball. Second hit of the game. Here for Gilman. And Lawson's trying to make it two. He will make it a double. Well, a nice hit there with two outs. And only the second hit of the game for the Greyhound. One and all you count, the pitch. Yeah, That's a Danny. shot. Nice, and it should be caught in the outfield here. It will be, and that ends the inning. Runner left off for Gilman. Bottom of the six we go, and a six nothing lead here for Spalding. All right, we're back here in the game action now. Six nothing is your score here, and that one's high in the zone. One and all. him back here in the top of the seventh. Try to have a second straight complete game shutout. That's a shot. That gets in the outfield. That's a base hit. Pitch here. That's a pinger. Might turn two. No, they're going to just turn to one. Did not get it. The ball gets away. Beyond gets away. The runner's going to toss it home. And he is safe. Seven to nothing now here for Spalding. Eleven hits now for Spalding. Seven runs in the game. And the spawning people will say thank heaven. Oh. That's low, and the ball got away briefly, and the runner stays at first. Shoots foul. Count one and one. Whoa, that was a hit hunter there. Got me on this one, Dwayne out. Dwayne won that. Both of them. Oh, Two on and nobody out here in the bottom. The runner was looking to advance the third and one and over count. Ron's band right now kind of, as they say, taking one for the team. Oh, 
Yeah. Go two, you got it. And the pitch. That's a pop up. And that one might that. stay in play. Got it. And one away. And the runner stay at second. And And there for a strike. Here, Toby. That's 128. One and one. Here, Toby. That's 182. A little pitch there. Blue, Swing and a miss. Two and two. Green, four fifty five. Mm, cool now, the too. Come on, blue. And he hit him. So the base is loaded here with one out. Base is loaded here, one out. In the bottom of the six, spalled in his front big time, seven to nothing. We'll bust this game wide open. In the last inning. One and Lamar being Glen Out Country. Falling loss in overtime. The girls sign I am to St. Paul for girls. They win that one. Right to Toby. Put right there. I'm on. Here you go. call there. Two away. That's on the outside on the plate, two and That's low, two and one. 
That's a shot. And will it be caught? It will be. That is the inning. Bases left loaded after six. Also, it's a spalling here, and Jake Yeager looking for the complete gang shutout for a second straight week. We'll be back with it. All right, Yeager here up the pit chair in the top of the seven looking for a complete gang shutout for a second straight Monday. Let's see who will break that up. Jake Moeller up first to try to stop the likes of that. Jake. Come on, Muller! 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 Oh, we're out there. Yes, sir! That's a shot. Runs over. One away. in there for a ball, one and out. Two and out. Samuel here trying to stop. Complete game shutout. Three and out. Ball four. Second walk of the game for Edgar. Fourth base runner of the game here. Excuse me, fifth base runner of the game for Gilbert. Fifth base runner. Two walks and an error. And there you go Up in the zone, 1 and 0. And out the two stars, it's the first one. You kind of seen Jaeger. Watch it low down and I'm gonna talk with him and see what's up. Make sure he's alright. I don't think they're gonna pull him again. I'm both trusting in his guys here. Spring sports matchup we have for you Thursday at Catonsville, Common Park, lacrosse, Towson and Catonsville. Should be a fun one. I get Common Park for that one. We know about any, we'll be coming at you Friday. Strike, and I will save, save. Just got there on the base in time. It's the traditional double play out of reach. We did see it from the Kilman side earlier. We short stop the first double play. Sense of caught and then we going the runner out. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. One and two. Big two. Looking. 
Jaegers. Two strikeout, I believe. I'm going to get a full count on that. He was 7 8. I think that was his eight. Pop up, and this might do it. We foul. Right near us, right behind us here. One one you count. She foul, stuck there in the fence, and coming down to their foul strike. For the ninth strikeout of the game, 19 in the past two weeks, and two complete game shutouts for Jake Yeager on Spalding. 7 nothing. your final here. Spalding moves on, undefeated still in MIA conference play. These two teams will rematch each other Wednesday at Gilman, weather permitting, because it might be terrain in the forecast there. Well, we say so long to you. We'll see you in Catonsville for Thompson and Catonsville on the cross side. So we see you then. So long for now. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?